65 million years ago, dinosaurs roamed this earth. And Adam Driver. And that was enough to get this guy in the theaters day one to see what was going to shake out. Let's talk about 65. It's a dinosaur story. Sixty-five is an hour and a half long. That's music to my ears. That's like my favorite thing in the world. When I go to a movie and I see it says hour and a half, I just perk up. I'm like, oh, we're in for a treat now because it skips the crap. It gets down to business. And I have to say 65, it gets down to business fast. After about seven minutes, we're already crash landed on planet Earth back when dinosaurs were rummaging free. Adam Drive, I mean, they were always free. We were never taking dinosaurs captive and opening theme parks, regardless of what Jurassic Park says. Not based on a true story I found out after doing some research of my own. The simple story goes like this. Mills is off on a planet, an Earth-like planet that has cool rock waves in the distance. He, his wife, and child have a nice life for themselves out on a beach. We see no other civilization, but we have to assume there's a bustling one somewhere, brimming in the distance. His kid's sick. He's a pilot. He needs to chart a course for two years down the road where he can get money for medicine and come back and save his family, save his, save his child. Things seem to be going swimmingly for about 10 seconds before the ship runs into an unknown, unmarked set of asteroids. Meteors smashing into this thing. The ship crashes down on an uncharted planet. And that planet is... Earth. I should point out this is a spoiler-free review. We're not going to ruin anything for you. I'm just laying out the basic plot. So Driver is stranded down there, Mills. There's one other person that did survive, and it's a little girl, 9 or 10 years old. I have to say, this is maybe one of the cutest little kids working in Hollywood right now. Just an adorable little doll. She speaks a native tongue, one Mills isn't familiar with, and his translator isn't working. It's on the fritz. So he has to communicate with her through pictures, through, you know, like motions, things like that. That was, that was bullshit. I learned that from a movie I recently just watched. What was that film? It's gonna bother me. Oh, it was Creed, Creed 2, I think. Great movie. This girl's name, Koa, played by Ariana Greenblatt. Ariana does a solid job here. Great kid actress. Sometimes it's really hard when there's kids on screen to get invested in them. They're annoying, they're bad actors. This works really well. And her relationship with Mills is what's gonna drive this story forward. I will say, it is a slow story. It's a little bit of a slog for some. I thought the pacing was actually solid, but I couldn't help but feel like it's one of those movies where they had the premise, dinosaur planet, dude with futuristic weapon that can kind of like blow him away. Okay, let's set up the camera in the woods. We'll have Adam Driver kind of run around and do stuff and then we'll CGI in dinosaurs later. There felt like there was a few moments like that. There is definitely foreshadowing in this movie. There's definitely a narrative structure to it. It's just very by the numbers and that's okay. I don't mind by the numbers if it works well and it doesn't overstay its welcome. Two things this movie does correctly. While I don't think 65 was amazing by any means, it certainly was a fun time. It kept me interested from beginning to end. There's some cool action. There's some great set pieces. Like I said, the characters are likable and they bounce off each other very well. Think Logan. Think The Road. Think The Last of Us. This isn't better than any of those. But we once again have the father-daughter dynamic or the father-son dynamic, the protector of sorts that needs to get this kid to safety. This is a 2023 film. Jurassic Park from the 90s has better effects still. I don't think anything has really matched it. Even the newer Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies don't hold a candle to the first one because of the practicality, because of the animatronics, because of the use of shadow and light to really sell you on these creatures. Now, I will say... 65 doesn't have bad effects. Most of the time they look pretty solid, but I'm never once very convinced that Adam Driver's fighting dinosaurs. And I know, <laughs> I know they don't exist. I know that. But the movie can at least make me think that they do. We have five or six jump scares in this. We have some variety of creatures that you haven't seen in the Jurassic Park movies. Although 65 only has probably five or six variants of its own. And some of the designs look more akin to something Pixar would make and less like real dinosaurs. 
I still thought they were pretty cool. I like that it's making its own look to these things. And it's just insanity that we've had six Jurassic Park movies and not one gun is fired at a dinosaur that makes contact and kills the thing. Why have we not been blowing dinosaurs away? Is PETA up on us about this? They're not real! 65 bucks the trend. Driver's killing a lot of these things. Pretty easily too, and I love it. I eat it up. I want more dinosaur hunting in film. Last thing I wanna point out are the visuals outside of the CGI. I think the film, the look of it is pretty solid. Some of the night shots are kind of grainy, a little inconsistent there, but for the most part, there's kind of this neon infused look throughout with the guns and the ship. The music appropriately works. It's nothing, it's not Jurassic Park again. You can't help but compare. Again though, competently made, competently executed, driver's fun, little girl works. And when all is said and done, it's a nice little meal. Doesn't emotionally resonate very much. It could definitely have hit a lot harder. We don't have any interstellar types of tear jerking moments. It's just a competently made movie. And sometimes that's all you need. All right, those are my thoughts on 65. Did you see it or did you opt out for Scream 6? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you had a good time and please think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie content every single week. Would love to see you stick around. Take care.